Hi again, um, just a very, very short video today showing you how I traded this red news event. 13.30 um, London time, there was this USD red news out, core retail sales month on month and retail sales month on month. Now, I sat down at my charts just before this event took off, just before the actual event, uh, the news was released, and which is absolutely fine. I don't need to do any kind of analysis realistically before a news event and I'd fully prepared myself last night so my charts were ready last night so I could just sit down just before this this took place and just to see if I could get some trades off on this I was limited for time today and so um, I just thought that I'd, I'd give it a go see if I could get some trades off okay so I'll flick over to the charts now and I'll show you exactly where I got in and where I got out and um, how long it's how long it took me to take a good profit a day so all I had to do was sit down just before the news event and wait for it to be released. We have specific criteria that we use for trading red news events at the Price Action Traders Institute. Very, very easy to use. It takes a little bit of experience, but once you get the hang of it, once you get the knack of it, it's a very, very simplistic way of trading red news events. So Euro US dollar, the news was released. I waited a little while because we're, we're looking out for something um, the way that we trade and as soon as I saw saw that event happening just after the news just after the news was released I took a short on the EU could see that there was a, a move down on this price was going down US dollar was showing strength and so I took the EU at 77 there and you can see I punched out of this uh, just before this candle closed, well it was a little while before this candle closed, I was actually in these trades for 10 minutes, I was in and out within 10 minutes. So I took that trade there at uh, 77, you can see that I punched out down there towards the lower end of that, that um, news candle. Um, GU was the second trade that I took, again waited for the indicator, well it's not an indicator as such, we're just looking for certain events when there's a, a red news event and um, it happened. Took this trade here, the pound US dollar I got in at 10, took this down and uh, came out down here. Sorry, I should have mentioned the EU, um, I took 20, 24 pips on the EU. So I waited for that to come down there, punched out of that and took 24 pips. Um, pound US dollar, I got in at 10 and I took 20, 23 pips on that. So punching out on the same candle um, that I took the trade on, again it was uh, 10 minutes, just slightly under 10 minutes that I was in these trades. US dollar, Japanese yen was the third trade, again exactly the same thing but this time taking it long, seeing the price movement going up, price action going up and the US dollar Japanese yen, I got in on that 13 and I took 15 pips on that, punched out of that on the same candle and US dollar CAD, this one didn't move quite as much, I think the CAD was fighting it a little bit and so US dollar CAD I got in at 54 and I ended up taking 7 pips on that and so that was it, just the 4 trades um, and you'll see this price action just carried on moving, that US dollar strength continued and if I'd have had more time it would have been a simple case of just moving my price stop up to follow this and I could have st quite easily stayed in these trades if I'd have had more time and taken an awful lot more on this but I'm perfectly happy with that knowing that I was limited for time and walking away with 69 pips um, after just 10 minutes of trading. If you'd like to find out more about the way that we do things at the Price Action Traders Institute you can go to my website which is www.uk2asia.com um, or you can follow me on Twitter at uk to asia If you're enjoying these videos, if you're taking anything from them, please click subscribe and thumbs up uh, just to help me push the numbers up a little bit. And that way you'll get an indication, you'll get a notice as and when I post these videos. Okay, I'll call it a day for now and I'll be back very soon with another video.